Hello there. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about various professional treatment options for varicose veins. If you are struggling with varicose veins or want to learn more about it, you are in the right place. Let's get started. What is varicose veins? First, it is important to understand what varicose veins are. Varicose veins are enlarged, twisted veins that can be seen just below the surface of the skin, typically in the legs. This condition occurs when the valves in the veins malfunction, causing blood to flow backwards and pool in the veins. Varicose veins are more than a cosmetic problem. They can cause pain, swelling, and even serious health problems. Overview of treatment options. There are various treatment options for varicose veins. These methods vary depending on the patient's condition, the severity of varicose veins, and general health status. Let's examine these treatment methods one by one. Sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy is one of the most common treatments for varicose veins. This method is particularly effective for small and medium-sized varicose veins. How is it applied? During sclerotherapy, a sclerosing substance is injected into the varicose vein using a thin needle. This substance irritates the vein walls, causing them to stick together and close. Over time, the closed vein is absorbed by the body. Advantages and Disadvantages Sclerotherapy is a minimally invasive procedure and usually does not require anesthesia. There is a short recovery period after the procedure. However, multiple sessions may be required and some patients may experience temporary side effects. Laser therapy, endovenous laser ablation. Laser therapy is another popular method for the treatment of varicose veins, especially large veins. How is it applied? In this method, a thin laser fiber is inserted into the varicose vein. The laser energy damages the vein walls, causing them to collapse and disappear. Advantages and disadvantages, laser treatment is a minimally invasive procedure with a high success rate. It does not require general anesthesia, and patients can usually return to normal activities the same day. However, mild pain and bruising may occur during and after the procedure. Radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation, RFA, is another effective method used in the treatment of varicose veins. How is it applied? In this method, a thin catheter is inserted into the varicose vein. The catheter uses radio frequency energy to heat and close the vein. Advantages and disadvantages, RFA is minimally invasive and is usually performed under local anesthesia. There is a quick recovery period after the procedure. However, some patients may experience mild discomfort and bruising afterward. Surgical methods. In some cases, more invasive surgical methods may be necessary. These methods are typically used for large and complex varicose veins. Stripping and ligation. This surgical procedure involves removing the varicose vein through small incisions. The vein is ligated and removed. Microphlebectomy. This method involves removing varicose veins through small incisions, usually under local anesthesia. Recovery and results. Each treatment method has its own healing process and results. Patients can achieve a faster and smoother recovery by following their doctor's advice. Typically, the use of compression stockings, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle are recommended after treatment. There are many options for the treatment of varicose veins, and the most appropriate treatment method depends on the patient's specific situation. If you suffer from varicose veins, Consult a specialist to determine the best treatment option for you. Remember, your health is the most important thing. Today, we have discussed the professional methods used to treat varicose veins. If you liked our video and found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Stay healthy.